Barca. He's retiring as well. We're not going to have any defenders left the way we're going. Um, all right, thank you, everybody. Thank you. It is uh, a big week here for the Welsh national team as we uh, head off to Italy in World Cup qualifying. Now, I do have a flight to catch, but I will take a few questions. Um, yeah, Effa. Effa Gwynne, the Welsh reporter. Now, Chris Samepham has announced his retirement for a year's time. Will he continue to feature? Yeah, look, I just heard this. Uh, obviously, it's a bit of a blow, especially on the back of uh, Joe Roden's uh, recent retirement as well. But we do have him through the rest of the next season, so uh, he'll continue to play a big part uh, in this team as we look to uh, to take the Welsh national team to the World Cup, yeah. Yes, now Italy dropped points to Iceland in the last game, which leaves Wales top of the group. Are you hopeful of getting a result in Naples? Yeah, look, it's going to be tough. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Italy's a tough place to go. Uh, we're going to have to defend well. And we're without M. Padu for this one as well through injury. So um, that's, you know, we're not at our strongest by any means. But uh, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful we can take something from the game and remain top of the group. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome to a Wales special on the Impossible Dream. Usually at Barla Town, but as I said, we do put the national team hat on today as we are playing World Cup qualifiers against Italy away and then Iceland at home. Now, Iceland, you can see the group here. Iceland did take a point off of Italy. They've had two nil-nil draws so far, um, but the big game for us really is, is going to Italy. If we can get a point from there, then we really will be looking good to uh, to qualify from this group. Um, but, yeah, I mean, time will tell. It's not going to be an easy game, that is for sure. We'll also, of course, have the Iceland game today as well. Uh, now, let's have a quick look at uh, some news since last episode. We have a look at the squad. This is the squad that we've called up. Now, the big news, really, is that Chris Mappham has announced his retirement. Now, it is for the end of sort of this time next season. So we do still have him for one more year, which is which is important. Um if we go to info, where's it? I'm not sure, quite sure where it says where he's retiring. But anyway, it is uh, it is for this time next year. So that's uh, that's good. Uh, yeah, C2034 there. Uh, now, the squad is more or less the same as it was uh, last time we uh, saw the international team. The one change that we have had to make is that uh, Emma Padu has got himself injured. Uh, if we go to schedule, uh, not scouting, not competition, schedule. Um Emma Padu has got himself injured, so we are without him for this one, which is a massive, massive loss, especially going away to Italy, where we really do need our best defenders. So the player that's come in for him uh, into the squad is uh, Mitch Todd. Um, I don't think, well, he won't be starting against Italy, because uh, I've already picked that team. But he's a solid enough defender, but you can see with uh, with Roden and with uh, uh, Mappham retiring... It's, we don't have the same quality coming through behind them, so that is a little bit of uh, a little bit of a disappointment. Um, yeah, but you know we'll see how we how we get on here. But that's the squad. It's more or less the same team as before, though. So we're getting to we're sort of getting something towards our best eleven. Now a quick refresher of how we got on in the first two games of World Cup qualifying. We started away to Armenia. Uh, we got a good solid 4-0 win there. Uh, Sion Jones and Marcus Wade with a double in that one. Uh, each with a double I should say. And then we went and hosted Malta and we were far too good for the Maltese. Uh, the big star this one, Alan Hall with a with a haul. Uh, four goals with uh, Freddie Freeman uh, or Chad Freeman as he would probably be known. Um, that's baseball coming into my uh, into my vocabulary there, isn't it? Uh, Jenkins and Ollie Weaver with his first goal for the nation as well. So that was a, we've got off to a really really good start. Um, and given that Italy have dropped points as well, of course, uh, means that uh, things are looking good. So let's not waste any time. Let's go and get into this uh, into this game and see what uh, what we're up against here in the Italians. If I can get back there at some point, would be nice game. There we go. So we are not the favourites for this one. You wouldn't expect us to be away to Italy. Uh, they've won it twice. We've had a draw and a and a win um, in the four times that uh, you know that Wales have played Italy in game here. They are a Fabio Cannavaro coached side. Um, I mean, he's not the world's greatest manager or coach, but he's been at Liverpool, he's been at Celtic, Napoli, so he's been at some big clubs. Uh, An adventurous standard style of play. We don't know too much about them, unfortunately, so that makes life a little bit more difficult for us. Let's have a look at the team that we're sending out. Now, I am very much working on the on the principle of a point here is absolutely fantastic for us away from home. So it's going to be James Williams in goal. He has been our goalkeeper, I think, every game, or certainly every competitive game we've played so far. So he continues in goal. Gurke is going to go on the left for us. He's not the best in the air, but otherwise he's a very solid defender, of course, from Barla Town. 
Neville is the man that's coming into the defense. Uh, he were basically replaced as Emma Padu, so he's hopefully going to do a good job for us. He is um, right now at Cardiff, I think. We can see he's going off to join wherever they are. Is that um, is that Russia? At Grozny must be Russia, wouldn't it? And of course, Chris Mappham. He is still the star of the team at the back, and so hopefully he will. Uh, although he does like a little bit of pace and a little bit of strength, um, hopefully he'll uh, he'll get on the ball for us and do a good job. James Gwynedd, the star of the team at Manchester City. He goes down the right. It's going to be Ben Williams going down the left. 34 he is now. We're going to need to look to replace him shortly as well. Um, Brett Brewerton, from Bala Town again, of course. He goes as a deep-lying playmaker. Danny Garmi, I think he's been an absolute revelation this season. So he goes as the advanced playmaker. Chad Freeman goes as the Mazella in this one. He scored a wonderful goal against uh, against Malta. And he is a dangerous player. Good dribbling, good long shots, good vision as well. Um, so hopefully he'll do a good job in there for us. And the two men up top, Sion Jones, good in the air. So hopefully Cross is coming into the box. He'll be able to uh, get on the end of something. And of course, Marcus Wade formerly of, uh, of uh, Barla Town, our way at uh, Brighton right now. And hopefully, he's going to continue his wonderful score form for, uh, for Wales. 12 games, 11 goals so far. What we wouldn't give for one more today. All right, so here are the teams. They've come out in a sort of a 4-3-3, I guess. Tanali is still going. How old is he now? He must be getting on a little bit. 33. Uh, now, Lurie, oh, Lurie, whatever this guy, he's at Arsenal, isn't he? I'm pretty sure he ripped us to shreds at Bali. He's a wonderful player, isn't he? Uh, yeah, so he's ripped us to shreds before. I don't recognize too many other names there. So that's, uh, I mean, doesn't really mean anything, does it? Um, but we're essentially matching up man for man in midfield. It's just how the rest of the team gets along here. Um... Yeah, like I said, I think a point is more than good enough for us. Venables says pick up where they left off. Um, oh, what do we say? We are the underdogs. We've got nothing to lose. Let's just try that. Some calm. We have faith. We have looked relatively good defensively in our time at the at uh, at Wales. So you know that can oh, national anthems, of course. Uh, so that can only be uh, that can only be a good thing if we can keep that form up. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it, it is, it's going to be tough. And like I say, a point is more than good enough uh, in this one. I am recording this sort of concurrently with tomorrow's transfer special with, uh, with Bala Town. So if I, if I say something that uh, doesn't make sense, uh, it probably will make sense because I've, I've referenced something in uh, the transfer special. That is a penalty. Brewerton. I mean, really good job tracking him back, mate, but... You didn't need to make a foul there. All right, can Williams do something wonderful against Tonali? No, he cannot. And the Italians go 1-0 up in Rome. No, we're not in Rome. We're in Naples. We'll tell them to show some passion, but... I mean, we've gifted them one there, haven't we? We dropped to second in the table. We went the right way with Williams there, but just couldn't quite... Couldn't quite get to it. And, well, now we, now we need to score, don't we? We've told them to show some passion, and... We should encourage them uh, to try and play shorter. Here we go with a corner. Can we get on the end of something there? It's headed away. Brewerton's there. He owes us. It's there for Denny Garmi. Denny Garmi unleashes the goal. And Denny Garmi, I'm pretty sure that's the first goal for his country. What a strike from Denny Garmi. I tell you what, he is an absolute star. It is his first goal for his country. He came into Barla Town under the penis initiative. And he has gone from strength to strength to the point now where he is not only an important player for Barla. He's becoming an important player for Wales as well. What a goal from Denny Garmi. He ties it up for us. And uh, Brilton with the assist. That goal made and finished in Bala Town. We've got a work to do there from... Oh, Jesus Christ, boys. What is that? Gurke talking about Bala Town. He's led his country down there. He's not the strongest in the air. They've picked him out. And we're behind again. It's 2-1. Suddenly, we don't look quite so good defensively here, do we? Well, that shut me up, didn't it? Uh, Malta's gone behind. That doesn't really mean too much for us. Um, come on, boys. Come on. They're getting down the outside of us again. Let's not give away another penalty, please. It's a bit of a lungy tackle from Brewerton. He's looking, dare I say, slightly out of his depth here, is old Brewerton. Um, there's a ball forward. And, well, they found themselves a little bit of space in wide areas. Again, it's headed away. Can we stop the shot from raining in? We can. We're doing a good job hassling them, but of course, nature of a highlight, something tends to happen. Uh, we're going to have to defend with more width here, I think. Cross comes in. Lurie is there, and I really don't like Lurie. Uh, all right, so we'll defend with more width. Let's go and put some pressure on them. 
And just like that, it's 3-1 to Italy. And what had been a very, very watertight Wales defence has uh, suddenly sprung several leaks, hasn't it? And this might be a problem that we have with Roden retiring, uh, with Anna Padu missing this one. Oh, Neville, you've got to at least go and challenge him, mate. Um, yeah, with you know, Mepham is obviously slowing down as well. It might be it might be the problem we start to face with Wales now is is fight Gurkha is only playing a six three. It's finding a, a way to defend again. We're going to have to sort of yeah. Gurke is not having a good time of things. We might need to take him off. I'm also wondering if we look at this formation and say, well, this isn't working. Um, do we need to do we need to change the way we're playing here? Freeman's done well there. We haven't seen anything from him. I'll, oh, geez, I thought he'd passed it straight to the Italian there. Um, all right, this is just not working. We're not we're not doing anything right. So let's take it off of that. Um, let's let's just. Let's just do that, shall we? Uh, there's a ball through, and we're getting, we're just getting, we're getting torn to pieces. We've injured one of them, so that's something. But yeah, I mean, we've scored from our only shot on target. Donnarumma with a ball forward. Can we win that? We can. Jones has it. Nice bit of hold up play there. Brewerton goes wide for Gwinnett. Can he get across in? Wade is working. Can we get back to within a goal at half time? Wade is there. Of course we can. Marcus Wade gets his 12th goal for his country. A wonderful cross in from James Gwinnett. We'll demand a little bit more. And in first half stoppage time, we've got back to 3 2. And what is this goal fest that we're seeing with the Welsh national team? We were, it was 1 0 to the Welsh when we first took over, but. We've forgotten how to defend, but we certainly haven't have found our way to, to, uh, to the back of the net. This is wonderful, wonderful stuff. Wade, he's onside. It's a good run, darting in towards the near post between the two Italian defenders. And it's 3-2 at the break. And we've somewhat mugged them off there, even being that close to them, really. But we are in this game. Uh, let's go and assertive. Everybody dig in. Don't let this go. Gurke only playing a 6.1. Mate, you need to... Uh, we're very unhappy about the mistake. The defense has not been good. Uh, there's no way to sugarcoat that. Um, I do wonder if maybe the three centre-backs isn't working for us. But then it comes down to what, what would we do differently. Um, Wade... Don't take your shirt off to celebrate a goal, please. Denny Garmi, what a strike it was as well. We're happy with you, mate. Keep it going. And Gwynedd is also having a decent game, so just keep that going for us. And the other one, of course, is Williams, who is doing fine. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. If you take the penalty out of it, and I know, you know, you, you can't take the penalty out of it, but if you could, um, you know, it's 2-2 right now. They uh, set piece again. Williams is there, claims it. We'll give Gurke, we'll give him a little bit of time to refine his feet here, but uh, it might be that we need to take him off. Here we go with Mepham coming forward. Nice ball there for Freeman. Freeman gets it forward for Garmi. No, Garmi is robbed. It was a bit of a hospital pass, and the Italians have it. Ball forward. Can we win that? We can't. We can't get to that either. And, I mean, they're, they're luring us in, aren't they? They're tempting us, and we just can't quite get uh, get a foot to the ball. Tonali spreads the play. Why has he got so much space? He should be marking him. And he's... <sighs> yeah, Wade, you should be f waving your fist around. You That was your man, and you're nowhere near him. Nowhere near him. Have I got him man marking the... He realizes there that he, where he should be. And it's 4-2. I'm, I'm just going to go and check that, because... Surely Marcus Wade is not that bad at man marking. Uh, marking tied up, specific man. There it is right there, mate. And you've let us down massively. You've let your country down there, Wade. Um, and that is just incredibly frustrating. Let's try exploit the middle here. Let's see if we can get something going through there. Uh, we are going to have to make changes, though. The defense is just not playing well. We don't have that many options to change things on the bench. But we will take off Gurke for Alid Davis. And we will take... Do we take off... No. We'll leave Mapham on. He's the more experienced player. We'll bring on Mitchell Todd back there. Is it going to be a debut for Todd? Has he played before? Oh, yeah, he has. Um, so that's two of our changes done. 
Uh, the other change we would probably look to make is Freeman in midfield, isn't it? Uh, so Bookley's done well in the past. You can see match sharpness is a bit of an issue for us as well. Um, but, I mean, that's just kind of comes with the territory, I think, doesn't it? There's not too much we can do about it. Can we get creative? Can we push forward? Can we get something going here? Um, doesn't look like it's going to happen, does it? Let's go attacking. Let's uh, go more direct. Let's let's get balls into the box. Let's uh, let's not shoot on side. I don't like that. Let's pass into space. Uh, we'll get stuck in high line. We've got we've just got to try and get ourselves back into the game if we can. It's so disappointing to come away from home, score two goals, and find yourself on the losing team. But uh, that's what's happened. They were far too good for us. And, well, that's maybe a little bit of a wake-up call, exactly exactly how far we are. What do we say to that? The defensive was poor, wasn't it? We'll say unlucky, I think, but the defense and assertive, that was, uh, that was not good enough. So there we go. Wales powerless to resist as Italy dominate. Um, everybody's a little bit disappointed with that, as we should be, because, I mean, we're still in a decent position. But uh, we host we host Iceland next. That becomes a big game, doesn't it? Because if we were to lose that one as well, we'd suddenly find ourselves third and in danger of not going to the World Cup. Wait right there, guys. We'll be back for Iceland. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back. We are about to host Iceland. Now, we can just about justify losing by two goals away to Italy, I think. But what we cannot do is lose at home to Iceland. Then we do start... The, yes, the group starts to get away from us after a wonderful, wonderful start. Let's have a look here. We are the favourites for this one. We've only played them once, and we did beat them, um, though obviously we weren't in charge. Colbin Jack is their manager. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's not a particularly great manager, but, um, you know, national pride and all that. An attacking long ball, uh, the Viking ball, I think it's called, isn't it? We can see that we're expecting a 4-4-2. They did beat Greece last time out, so they are clearly not a bad side. Uh, we can see that the heat map... They look a little bit narrow to me defensively. Uh, they do like to attack in wide areas, though passing network is there, as are their key passes from the Greece game. And this is what we're doing. We are just, we're going to go and have a go at them. Um, what did I just see then? I wanted to, uh, let's go, we want to regroup, and there was something else I'll whip. Um, all right, so this is what we're doing. It's uh, Williams in goal. It's it's uh, also Williams at left back. Gurke, Mapham, they need to be better this game. That goes without saying. And Gwyneth at right back. Brewerton and Grant comes in for this one. He's going to play in place of Gum. He's got some fresh legs in midfield there. It's going to be Wade out wide. We've, we've seen him play out there so well for uh, for Barlet Towns. So let's hope he can do a similar job for Wales. Freeman moves up into an attacking uh, position with uh, Jenkins coming in. Lee Jenkins from Tottenham to play on the inside forward on the uh, right-hand side. And Alan Hall got Four goals last time we played at home against Malta. Let's hope he has one or two more ready to go today. So they have come out in their 4-4-2. It's a little bit of a risk going man for man at the back, particularly with Mapham's uh, lap lack of pace. But as I said, we're going to have a go at them. We're at home. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, Venable says do it for the fans. Let's try a little bit of passion. Um, we're the favourites. Let's let's make sure they know why. Some calm. We have faith, and like I say, we we definitely we just need to defend better than we did against the Italians. But you know the uh, the Icelandics have proved a tough crack and uh, that not to crack. They haven't conceded a goal yet in uh, in the qualifying that I'm aware of. Uh, obviously, they held the Italians to nil, so they're you know, they're not too bad. Here we go, Wade with a corner. Can we get a nice early goal? It's bouncing around, and it has gone in off Chad Freeman. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. The Italians have taken a first minute lead. Uh, Greece has taken the lead against Malta, but most importantly, Wales has taken a lead against Iceland. Well, there we go. It's a horrible goalkeeping error, I think. Jenkins is in the vicinity, but is that Gunnarsson from the Brentford save? I think it is, you know. Um, well, we know all about that, don't we? If you follow the Brentford series. And we've got a corner now to defend. Come on, boys. We need to be better than we were against the Italians. Header away by Mapo. It's not cleared. Still there with Iceland. Can we get a foot in here somewhere, please? Too much space in a wide area. We go to close him down. Come on. Can we nick this guy at the other end? It's a long, old, scrappy highlight so far. Halson has it. Back there to Renat. So it is blocked away. Can Grant get to that? No, he can't. Can we get to it again here? Come on. Not quite. It's still with Iceland. It is a long highlight at this point. Come on. Win this back for me. Gretison. He was formerly of our parish at, uh, at Barla Town, was he not? Is that the, the same Gretison, I wonder? Um... Can we win that back? No, we've been done. He's got past two, and he's stuck it away. What is wrong with our defense? 
Boys, 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 what is going on? We were so good defensively, and all of a sudden, we've forgotten how to do it. He's gone past two. Oh, how has he done that? You should both hang your heads in shame. And Williamson, I mean, a little bit closer to your near post, mate. I mean, I'm not a goalkeeping coach, but come on. Who's he done there? He's done Brewerton. I tell you what, Brewerton's getting shown up here a little bit, isn't he? And that'll be uh, whoever the... Yeah, Jenkins. And we've come straight back. Gurke to Mepham. Let's hope we're about to go and put a second goal past him. Here we go with Wade cutting in. Wade unleashes and it's over the bar. But, uh, yeah, at least there's a little bit of intent in that one. Another highlight. Come on, boys. Please just keep a decent defensive shape. I know we're going at them a little bit here, and it will open us up a little bit more. I want to actually know if that is the Gretison that we had. Um, we signed him from, I think, an Icelandic club, didn't we? And then we sold him on to Derby, I want to say it was. Uh, and then I think he's since moved on because we got a, another transfer fee. He's developed into quite a good player. Gunnarsson has the ball. Somebody. There we go. Eventually, we're going to put a bit of pressure on him. Can we win that? They've knocked it down. Gurke's tried to get there. And they are toying with us a little bit here, aren't they? They are well and truly... Oh, what is that? Defending. A decent save from Williams in goal. And it's a goal kick as well. Um, Here we go with a throw. Gwynard. Look at the man here. He goes in there to Wade instead, to Freeman, back to Gwynard. He gets a nice ball down the line there for Wade. Wade pulls it back. It's wonderful stuff, and we've stuck it in with Lee Jenkins. His first goal, I think, for his country as well. Or did he get one in the Malta game, maybe? He may have got one playing against uh, Malta or Armenia now I think about it. I mean, he must have, because it didn't say first goal. But we've worked them nicely there. Gwynard, wonderful ball to pick out the run of Wade. And for once, he hasn't shot. He's pulled it back straight across the face of goal, and Jenkins is there to tuck it in. 2-1 now to Wales. Suddenly we're an excitement machine. Where was this in the uh, Nations League? We've got another corner. Wade. It's towards goal. It's off the crossbar. It's still on the goal line. Then it's cleared away. The Italians have taken a two-goal lead in their game. When we shoot on target, we're scoring. But that's that's good nuts and for you, isn't it? Here we go again. Wade. Decent ball in. It's headed away. Brewerton should get to that. Can he find his former Bala teammate? He can. Wade goes past one, does he? It's still there. Marcus Wade. Can he beat him eventually? He can. Pulls it back. Back post to Jenkins. And Lee Jenkins has himself a double. It's 3-1. This is more like it, boys. We're free-flowing. We're getting forward. We're scoring goals. It's what you want to see. I like it if we were a little bit better defensively as well. Wade eventually got past his man. Took his time, but got there in the end. Pulled it back. Jenkins with the header. And there we go. One inside forward to the other. And it's 3-1 Wales in the 38th minute. Now is this the... It is the same good nuts. And I can tell by the name. Yeah, it definitely, definitely is. He's at Dynamo Kiev now worth 14 million. Oof. Remember where you got your start, son. Remember where you got your start. Just before half time. What we don't want is 3-2. What we would love is 4-1. But that's, that's getting a little bit ambitious there. Greece is destroying Malta. Malta are, I think, the weakest team in the group. Certainly when we played them, they were, particularly in the first half, shipping goals for fun. Good Nartsen gets it forward. We should get to that. Gurke nods it down there nicely for Freeman. Freeman looks for Jenkins. Jenkins cuts in field. He's got an overlapping run there from the left back, Williams. He goes out wide instead to Gwynard. Gwynard goes back to Grant. Grant crosses it. It's for Jenkins. He's going to retrieve it. Williams is with him. And it's a panic clearance. Brewerton picks it up. Goes back to Jenkins. Jenkins goes past his man. Crosses to Wade. Wade. Oh, he stuck it in from the impossible angle. Marcus Wade continues. He just scores for Wales for fun. He reminds me a little bit of... Uh, who's a Northern Irish guy? David. Is it David Healy? Um, that just seemed to just score every time he played uh, for the national team. And that's Marcus Wade right now. He just keeps, and it's an impossible angle. How's he done that? Lee Jenkins with the assist. It's 4-1, and, well, this is much, much more like it. Maybe this is the way forward for Wales. Maybe this uh, try and be defensive and get a draw in Italy thing doesn't work for us. Uh, assertively, boys, uh, don't get complacent. Is anybody playing particularly poorly? Not at all. It's been a really, really good uh, response from us this one so far, hasn't it? Let's demand a little bit more. If we can get through the first 10 or so minutes here, then we can start praising them. There's a good ball out from uh, Goodnartson in goal. 
Greece is now 5-0 up over Malta. Suddenly 7-1 doesn't look quite so good. Jenkins, that was a little bit aggressive, mate, but he got away with it. We go and put a little bit of pressure on them. And they're having a shot from distance. That's over the bar. No problems there. And we go again. It's another highlight. Brewerton has it. Infield. It's oh, in between players there, but we just about got away with it. Brewerton still to Grant. Grant goes wide for Jenkins. Look at your fullback, mate. Jenkins goes in field. Hall. We have, we've barely seen him. We're up 4-1 up. We haven't seen the striker yet. There's Gwynard. Goes back to Brewerton. Keep it going, mate. Shuffles it over. Williams. It's a good ball for Marcus. Wade. Oh, he's offside. Unlucky for Marcus Wade. How offside was he? He's just not quite... Oh, I tell you what. It's close. There's an argument to say Hall actually is offside uh, in the goalkeeper's line of view there but um yeah i mean it doesn't really matter does it we do have a relatively tired looking Gwynedd he is a booking away from a suspension as well now if this game is more or less one there's probably an argument to say take him off fresh legs there's a good cross in it's there and it's jenkins off the crossbar i think the goalkeeper put it onto the crossbar um but i think i've talked myself into that change now do we have somebody who can play right back even if it's just a little bit. Not really. Where's uh, the other guy, Todd? He's right-footed. He can kind of go out there. So let's do that. We'll rest Gwynard. Um We'll just take him back onto support. We don't really need these guys bombing on as much anymore, do we? So we'll do that as well. Um, and that'll do, I think. That'll do for now. Uh, who else was a booking away? I think Wade was a booking away as well, wasn't he? We do have options to play out there wide right. So let's get Ollie Weaver on for him. Um, a wonderful game it's been from way look at that a goal and three assists and I think there was somebody else as well and I can't remember who it was Brewerton's looking tied and he's I think done a lot of work hasn't he we could bring on we've got Bookley on the bench that could play there um, he's probably the best option I'm trying to think who else I have in the squad to play in that sort of deeper role in midfield Grant crossfield ball finds Jenkins Jenkins goes past one Jenkins, wide, looking for Ollie Weaver. Ollie Weaver, can he cut in? No. It's still there for him, though. He crosses it in for Hall. It's headed away. Brewerton should pick that up. Back in for Grant. Back to Brewerton. Brewerton goes cross again, looking for Ollie Weaver. Ollie Weaver keeps it in. Keeps possession as well. Back for Todd. Todd gets the cross in. And Freeman at the near post makes it five. And to think I was worried about this. And to think Iceland hadn't conceded a goal before this game as well. This Iceland defence, they held Ita the Italians nil-nil. What was Italy doing? What were we doing against Italy if we can score like this? But there we go. Wonderful stuff. 5-1 now. We have thoroughly dispatched the Icelandics. Icelanders? Icelandics. I think it's Icelandics, isn't it? Well done. One back there by Gurke, who has retrieved his reputation in this one, I think. Of course, not quite the same level of opposition. The Italians had some wonderful players. And to be honest, I mean, we scored two against them. Here we go with Jenkins. We're streaming forward at will, it seems. Can Jenkins get a cross in? He can. Ollie Weaver's at the back post. And he gets his own rebound. And that's six. Six one. Now, I want to take Broughton off. Bootley, I think, is the obvious man. Um, yeah, so we'll get him on. That's no problem there. Some fresh legs. That's our three changes done. But Ollie Weaver, a second goal for him uh, for the national team. He got his first goal last time out against Malta. I tell you what, we are destroying teams when they come to Wales. 7-1 versus Malta, and it's 6-1 with 10 to play versus Iceland. Excellent, excellent stuff. Um, it's just a shame about the Italy game. If we could have taken a point from that, I mean, we'd be sitting in a wonderful, wonderful position. But as it, as it turns out, I mean, we're still not in a bad position. Um, that is... Well, second looking quite good. We've still got to play the Greeks. That'll be tough. Uh, what do we say? I think just don't, well, don't get complacent really, isn't it? So a goal glut for Wales. As I said, we've still got to play the Greeks and that won't be the easiest game. But Freeman with a double, um, I showed him at the start of the Italy game. He is he is quite good. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying having him in the team. Weaver got his second goal. So he has two and eight. Now he's a useful player as well. Is he still is at Brentford now? He was at Manchester United. Wales are on course, so if you have a quick look at what that means for the competition standings, we're three points ahead of the Greeks, and we'll have to play them next. Uh, we're a point off of the Italians. We're going to keep some pressure on them. Um, and hopefully, 
I mean, first, first we'll go through automatically, and second is, um, so we're inside, that's the top six, is it? I don't know if it's a playoff that you qualify for if you go automatically, because it's the massive World Cup now, of course, as well. Um, top six teams qualify for the World Cup. So if we're in the top six of the runners-up, that'll be good enough. So right now, you can see we're sitting in there, which is fine. Um, so we're just going to make sure that, uh, that we're sitting pretty in that, but that does it for today, guys, if you have enjoyed that, bit disappointed versus the Italians, we've smashed Iceland though, uh, absolutely goals galore, uh, so we'll be back next time for, uh, we go to Athens, and then we'll, we'll host Armenia, that should be a given, but the Greeks away, if we can win there, then that just about will be uh, a top two spot secured, it'll just all be about making sure we can, uh, beat the Italians at home and see where that takes us, take care guys.